Hello, welcome to the first in probably two or three videos looking at NS Task in OS X. This video is just an introduction. If you want to get into Xcode and the code straight away, then please start the next video. But I just want to explain what I'm going to be doing in this sort of little mini series. I've been writing recently as a little fun project at home, a GUI for chess. But instead of having an integrated internal engine, I wanted it to be able to, the user to be able to pick and choose from the various UCI and Winboard chess event engines that are available, so other programs that people have written and compiled, and communicate with those so the user of the GUI can play against these various engines or, in, or have them play against themselves in tournaments. And this involved, obviously, a lot of inter-process communication with the engines. And to do this, uh, I used NS Task, which is fairly normal. But the reason I'm doing this series is because I didn't really find in any one place a sort of concise demonstration of how not only do you start a task, but you then read in input that might come sporadically from a process and also send commands sporadically to that process. Most of the examples I saw were literally starting a process, reading some input, and the process then quits or something like this, but never sort of maintained a link to that process until you tell the process to, to end. So that's what we're going to look at in this series. And just show you what I've got. You've probably already seen there's a bit of C code here. I've got a program here. Um, if you're not familiar with C, don't worry. But basically, I turn off, as you should with any console uh, or command line C program where you're communicating with a GUI, I turn off buffering here to the input and output so nothing stays in the buffer. It just prints a hello and welcome because the point is I want it to print some stuff out so we can then see it in a GUI inside OS X. And it repeats the commands I enter, or if I enter numbers, it prints some numbers to the screen. If I enter scroll, it prints some numbers with a delay between them. And when I quit, it just says goodbye. So looking at this inside the terminal, I've already compiled. If I, if I just run this program, it starts with a line um, saying hello. And if I type hello, it repeats it. If I type dog, it repeats it. If I type numbers, it gives me my seven random numbers. And if and probably the most important one if I type scroll is now it's going to give me every two seconds a number until it's given me five numbers and then it's going to say done hopefully and then I can type quit to quit the program okay so if I now type quit then it says bye and I've quit if we go to the tiny very well very highly designed GUI I've got here this does exactly the same things I've just done in the console so I can click start task and you can see I've started the task and got the output and now if I send in hello and click send it repeats back hello and now dog and send it gives me dog and then just for completion for this video if I send it put numbers in I get the random numbers and if I put scroll in we get the delayed output responding to what is a kind of simulation of output now and then coming from the process that we're interested in. So I thought it might be useful to someone if I now type quit then I've set it when we quit to actually send us a message there you go task has quit to the GUI. So that's what we're going to be looking at uh, and the program we're going to be building starting then from the next video and I hope it's just helpful to someone who might be looking for something in sort of a, a one sort of concise place. So see you in the next video thanks very much.